Hello YouTube, today I will be introducing my outdoor multi-cam gear for Airsoft. Uh, yeah, let's start by saying that this is kind of a heavy build because as you can see, everything is kind of bulky and first reason is that I'm kind of small statue and second, yeah, this vest is really bigger than the usual vest. I have a, another one in my room, uh, which is black for indoor ones, but that one's much smaller than this one. So this one makes me look really bulky and kind of heavy build overall because I got many extra items for outdoor field and uh, there are also much more stuff on my helmet. It's also was a heavy build and I'm not the most physically strong, a strong person and the fields in Washington, the terrain is kind of rough, so I'm not gonna run run really fast. The mobility is kind of compromised, uh, but since the Washington field is okay, okay, not that focused on mobility, even though mobility is really important. But I'm a uh, machine gunner half of the time. So I. Uh, think that is kind of warranted. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. First, from top down, this is my helmet. For the uh, decoration stuff, I have a GP MVG 18 Night Vision goggle model, which I bought for $20. Uh, but of course right now, it's not on here. I got a hum uh, sorry, camera mount on here, which is what I usually use. Uh, but however, the battery pack is actually here. Uh, I use it for counterweight. I put a lot of bolts and screws inside in order to counter the weight of the uh, night vision goggle. Even though that's a fake one, it's still kind of heavy. And usually it just stays here. I mean the battery pack. And I got the, uh, a, a model of fake or replica strobe, which doesn't work apparently. It's just plastic model, just for show. To morale patch. Oh, and a um. Oh, where is it? Oh, here. No. Oh, uh, I got a uh, LED light. No, I didn't trigger it. Yeah, like this. I uh, hope it still got uh battery and. Sh nah, just give it um. All right, let's move on to some actually useful stuff. First off is this headset. I believe it is Z Tactical headset. Pretty recent stuff. Had it for almost two years. I hope it's still working because I haven't tried for a while. And uh, of course, on the field, I will be wearing this face wrap and this mask, mesh mask. Very good stuff. I do not want to lose my teeth. And uh, yeah, let's move on to goggle. This goggle is a new one. I actually got this today. It is, I believe it's I4 so-called dual panel anti-fog, even though it is fogging right now. It is fogging right now, though. Maybe the fogging is not that severe, but it's fogging. But I think it, it's much better than my old one. This is the Wolf Spider. Goggle, it fogs like bad. And uh, as you can see, this one's even it's much bigger than this one. I find some difficulty aiming down sight with with a uh, sorry with scopes. So I I want to use a smaller goggle and anti fog. So I picked this one, the iForce Dew Panel anti fog, which is fogging right now. Ah. Oh, uh, it's fogging. Though, though it's not very bad, uh, but it's still fogging is irritating. Maybe this is just beginning of fogging, maybe it'll get worse. I don't know, we will see on the field. Okay, let's move down to the vest. Uh, as you can see, my headset clients to here, the PPP or PPP, I think it's PPP unit, which I can control my review. And with the wire, it goes all the way to here, where I house my review. It is a very small review for a very big review pouch. 
And I have those um, turbiner here, which is for my MP7 SMG. It is a, a very cheap uh, $50 AUG, uh, 250 FPS, very weak, and it's full plastic. It's mainly used for indoor range, but I some, sometimes keep it as a secondary weapon for, uh, you know, when I'm using the uh, LMG. Moving on, I have my pistol holster here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I usually have a Kawhi USP here or a VM9 over here. But today, I feel like I shouldn't include any airsoft for, for no reason. I use my rubber trimming rifle. Ow, oh, this is not a rifle, is it? This is a pistol. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I use a rubber trimming pistol here. But you can pretty much see it is pretty easy to pull it out and use it. Moving on, I have this, this rifle spin here. This is actually a new addition to my vest. Usually I will use a, uh, a spin that is actually part of the vest. This is a standalone spin, even though I still attach it to my vest. But the old one actually goes into the holes over here and into the vest. Back down, I think it connects somewhere over here. That one is like, it only restricts the rifle to this position. And I cannot like slide the rifle around, but for this one, I can slide it around like right here, or right here, and maybe there's some trouble sliding it over here since I got the wire and my pistol here. But I'm really not a fan to keep the rifle to the left anyway. So I got this position, rifles down here, or right here, rifles down here, and trust me, it will be much easier to slide it when I actually have a rifle attached to it. And I got some pro tip from YouTube. Got this S combiner here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it is restricting the flow of the spin, which is uh, which I find very handy. Yeah, this is definitely fogging, but the fog is not too bad, to be honest. To be honest, the fog is not too bad, but it is fogging. Better than that one. All right, uh, let's move on. My pouch, I really keep my cell phone here. The other layer is pretty thick, so my cell phone is kind of safe. And sometimes I just put in some, you know, I used to have some uh, piece of cloth inside uh, in case if I need to wipe my goggle. Speaking of which, that goggle is pretty dirty right now. I'm, I, maybe I should wipe it. Moving down, four AR-15 magazine pouch. Nothing to say about here. Yeah, grenade pouch. Uh, maybe this is not for grenade actually, but I just use it for grenades. Grenade! And I also got two spare pistol pouches over here. Uh, sorry, pistol magazine pouch. Even though I had them for no reason. I only got one spare pistol magazine and you really keep it here. Uh, okay, move on to the back. I've already shown you the uh, radio pouch over here. Oh. Sorry, I think my room is passing by. Okay. Pause a little bit. Alright, moving on. Here is my uh, water pack. I connect the water tube to over here. The hydrogen pack is very handy in this mode. Uh, I can just slide out and drink it. And of course, usually I have the mask to uh, take care of, but right here I can just directly drink it, which is super nice. But I have no water in the hydrogen pet currently, so <laughs> never mind. And this is a new addition too, room control. I have seen a guy being shot over there, not pretty, so I bought this. <laughs> uh, it's super important, I, I would say, yeah. Alright, move down. I think I've covered everything on the vest. Let's move down. Uh, I have a uh, battle bell here. I'm a kind of small statue, so maybe everything's not super obvious. Uh, I'm, yeah, uh, but I do have a belt on there. I start from left to right. Here I have a uh, hard shell hoister for my Kawa USP45. Back there, down pouch, you know, 
dump all my magazine and stuff over here. And moving back, I have this. Yeah, I have the map kit inside here. And to be honest, I don't know how to use half of it. I know how to use bandage, kind of. Uh, Painkiller maybe, but I think that is pretty much all I know. Oh, the coat pack, I, I know how to use that. Here is another utility pouch. Uh, currently I have extra ammo inside, but maybe on the field I will switch, uh, switch it to battery. Uh, but I'm not gonna... No, not a toolbox. I'm not gonna use it on the field. I'll maybe get back to the stage staging area and use the toolbox, so I'm not gonna keep this at the toolbox here. Oh, I forgot the lanyard for my pistol. Oh, oh, I, I can I can got two pistols right now, but I have one lanyard. Hmm. All right. All right, and nothing else so important. Oh, one thing. Haha, <laughs> showing off my Vote Boy Fallout patch. Uh, you've seen that, right? So, if you wish, we can have a bottle of Nuka Cola. Yeah, I should have a collection of all stuff here, but. Okay, that's not a point. Sorry, I digressed. Depressed. Um, knee patch? No, those are not knee patch. So, um, elbow pad. Sorry, uh, elbow protection? kind of important and gloves apparently and I, I got two knee pads some people just keep one uh, when they you know me down shooting in the fighting position uh, for them it's enough but for me I kind of switch around all the time depending on the cover uh, so I, I do need two of them oh you, you can see that <laughs> all right all right that is pretty much everything on me for my outdoor heavy multi-cam loadout for indoor one I do not have all those stuff I really think I'll just keep them super light for indoor range mm, yeah one last thing I recently went to the uh, okay not branded but there's a super nice store in Seattle called as the plus to Army and Navy, maybe most of you know that they got tons of uniform there, both new uh, and second hand. They got both like genuine ones and maybe replica, but they got genuine uniforms there, which is super cool. I got a uh, naval walking uniform there, but only got the top. I want the, the whole set of it, so I didn't buy it at last. I didn't buy it at last, but I really want one. But I bought this, uh, damn it, I got it wrong, this one, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to take this on the field, but this one's so cool I have to show off, because I know, you know, recently Battlefield 1 hype train, I'm not on a hype train, but I do have a shovel, <laughs> I have a shovel, I have a shovel, <laughs> alright. That concludes this video. Um, so this is something the video right now. Uh, see you on the field. Now I need to get this back to where it should be. All right, I got it. Pretty far this time. Oh, that's shock. <laughs>